GPT AI powers content writer is super easy to use. First, I'm going to show you how to use the express mode feature. This is the easiest method and it's really to the point. Starting on your WordPress dashboard, first navigate to GPT AI powers content writer tab. It will bring you to the express mode by default. You should see a text box where we will enter a post title followed by the text box in which our post will be generated. To the right, you'll see the menu. The menu allows for us to specify what language, style, and tone we want. We also get to choose settings for headings, keywords, images, additional content, links, and SEO. Let's get started. To start, we'll enter a prompt into the title field. This could be a broad subject or a long tail keyword. For this tutorial, let's pretend I run an automobile blog. The title prompt we'll use will be cars. Better yet, let's try a long tail keyword. The title will be the future of electric cars. Next, decide what language style and tone you want. For example, we're going to want this in English since my imaginary car blog's target audience is the United States. For the style, I'll choose blog, and I think I want my post to be in a friendly tone. Next, the headings tab allows you to choose how many headings the post will generate. It allows for anywhere from 1 to 15 headings. I want this to be an informative, high quality article on the future of electric cars, but I don't want it to be ridiculously long or spammy. So let's go with six headings. My title should be H1, so I'm going to make these headings H2 tags. The next menu option is Keywords. If you're on the free subscription, I promise you this setting alone is worth the upgrade. So I know that Tesla is a very trendy electric car company, and I think that including content about Tesla could make this article perform much better due to search volume. Because of this, I'm going to add Tesla into a keyword that I'd like it to mention. I need the tone of this post to be uplifting and positive so I don't want it to mention any electric car deaths or accidents, so I'll add deaths and car accidents to the keywords to avoid section, just to be sure it doesn't mention any of those. This last box allows you to toggle if the plugin will highlight your keywords or not. I'm going to opt out of this just so it doesn't affect the reader's experience, but feel free to do so on your own. Now, we get to choose what to do for the post's images. We can leave it none and add those later, or we can have it select an image with dolly or pexels. Let's see what Dolly comes up with for this one. I want the image to be a medium size and have a contemporary look to it. Next, go to the Additional Content tab. Here we have several of the more important settings. I would like to add a catchy and relevant tagline to the content that will capture my reader, so I'm going to toggle this first option on. I'd also like my post to contain an introduction. Similar to the other heading setting, I want my intro to be an H2 tag. I'll do the same for the conclusion. Now, adding a Q&A sounds like a great idea. Not only will this help my readers, but it'll likely help my post rank better in the search engines. All of my posts contain a table of contents to increase the user experience, so I'll have GPT AI Power create one for me so I don't have to go back and do that manually. Since all of my headings are H2s, let's make the table of contents tag an H3 tag. The next tab is for the link settings. Maybe I have an affiliate code for a portable electric car battery charger. What I'm going to do is create an anchor text with that keyword, portable electric car battery charger, and I'll add the link below that. Not only do I want the link to my product when I mention the keyword, but I also want to add an entire call to action for this product. Let's place the call to action at the end of the post so it doesn't affect the reader's experience before they get to the article. The final menu tab is SEO. This is where you can toggle a meta description, which you should always do. You can also add tags, which I'm going to add right now for this article. Once you've gone through all of these settings as you like, simply click Generate. First, GPT AI Power will generate your headings. Once they load, you can modify, sort, add, or delete headings. Next, click Generate again and it'll move on to creating your entire post. Typically, the entire process takes GPT AI Power about one, one and a half minutes. That's pretty quick since it's generating headings, content, introductions, conclusions, taglines, SEO, and applying all of these changes. Once it's finished, the end result will pop up in that content box and you can click Save Draft to edit it and publish. At the top, we've got our title, table of contents, tagline, and introduction. Followed by that, you'll see the generated headings with the generated DALI photo somewhere in the middle. Continuing to the bottom of the page, we see our conclusion at the end, followed by our call to action with our link embedded in it. And that's it. Now you've created your first post with GPT AI Power. Watch this next video if you want to see how to use the custom writer. Thanks for watching and feel free to ask any questions you have below.